It's an extraordinary story, as I said, about the deception that goes on throughout the world about the real world and how it actually works. So all I'm suggesting is that you might want to take some time out of your life and start looking at the reality of the world you live in because the world is growing more and more dangerous, more and more ignorant, and extremely violent. And unless and until the people rise up and decide to take back their sovereignty and do something about their lives and quit waiting for government uh, to do something. You know, because in America, we Americans love to talk about how we have the ability to elect our leaders. We're big on talking about how we can elect our leaders. But as Dick Gregory once said a long time ago, yes, we can elect our leaders, but you can't select your leaders. You don't select anyone. Your masters who own you will select who will run. You can merely vote on whoever they decide to allow you to vote on. And so when people go to the polls, for instance, people uh, every four years are talking about going to the polls. How many people have ever wondered, what does the word poll mean? Why do you have to go to the poll? It's like Gallup, com the Gallup company, you know, it's called the Gallup poll. Anytime some company is taking a poll, what does that mean? It doesn't mean that they are electing anybody. You take a poll to get a consensus of what the people are thinking. That's what a poll is. It's called a Gallup poll. There are many other companies that, that conduct polls for universities, for government. So that's what a poll is, is to get a consensus of what the people are thinking. How many people like this color or this, this product as opposed to how many, how many like the Pepsi as opposed to Coca-Cola as opposed to root beer? And so they take a poll. And so the poll shows that, one, uh, that the masses uh, all particularly like one product. That's all they wanted to know. Just which one do you like best? It doesn't mean much of anything. It's just a poll. And so for every four years, Americans go to the poll to tell their masters who own them. And they do own you. Your body is a security on the New York Stock Exchange. You need to understand that. And so every four years, your masters who actually own your body uh, want to know which one of these individuals that work for us <clears throat> they work for the corporation, they work for the company, but which one of these would you feel better about having at the head of the company? Which one do you personally like? All six of them work for the company. They work for the government, period. But which one do you particularly like? Because this way, if you particularly like one and you, and you vote for him, then we will make him the president of the company, and you will be happy because it was your choice. Uh, no, it wasn't your choice. You didn't have the opportunity to, to select your leader. You only had the opportunity to elect the one of the six that they gave you. And all six worked for the same company. So this is why nothing ever gets done, because people don't understand how their world really works. Extraordinary stuff. I, su I suspect that this is a very important time in human history and especially in the history of our country. When you don't know how your government works, you had better wake up and understand that you have left your government in the hands of other people to take care of things for you because you're too busy with your everyday life. Well, when you leave your personal business and your children and your life in the hands of someone else to take care of you, they're going to take care of you all right. Whatever decisions they make, they're going to take care of themselves, not you. Because you left yourself in their care, they will decide what you will eat. They will decide what you will wear. They will decide if you will have a job or not. Why? Well, because you left yourself in my care. I'm supposed to be uh, in charge of you. So I will decide how much you will make. And you can bet that I'm going to make a thousand times more than you do because I'm in charge. After all, you voted for me. 
So I'm just saying there's time for us to wake up. These are very evil days and unless America is ready to wake up and face the facts that we have been lied to, deceived and tricked into surrendering our lives, our minds, our sovereignty of thinking. And as I said in the beginning, what we need more than anything now is a spiritual and intellectual renaissance, a revolution spiritually around the world where people wake up to the responsibility to stand before your creator and be a normal adult human being who knows what's going on, who understands the world and can contribute something to the good for the whole human race. But you're, it's going to require that you educate yourself and understand how the world works. Again, my name is Jordan Maxwell. Thank you for listening.